Let moments pass along and waste before your eyes. March with me in the borough groves, come with me in the slidey toes, and never are these guys wise. Come, 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 come along now, run away from the humdrum. We'll go to a place that is safe from greed, anger, and boredom. We'll dance and sing till sundown and feast with a band. Hey there, Adventure Chris, coming to you from Camp Stella Mars. We're going to be showing you some of our favorite camp games that you can play right at home. Come on, let's go. So this next game is an icebreaker. It's called What's the Difference? So you're going to find a partner. My partner is Jen. You're going to face your partner and you want to memorize their appearance. So look at them for about 15 seconds. Okay, then one person is going to say turn. Turn. Okay, you're going to turn 180 degrees so that you can't see your partner. And let's start off by just changing one thing. Wait about 10 seconds and then one person will say turn. Turn. Face your partner and you want to try to guess what they changed. Okay, so you put your bandana up. Yes, I did, and you put your sunglasses on. I did put my sunglasses on, okay? So uh, continue to bump up the amount of things that you change. Uh, try to find some new partners if you can, um, and be creative with it, have some fun with it. So that is called What's the Difference? Here we are at the top of the zip line, highest point on camp. Nice and beautiful day today. Uh, so let's go zip lining. Our question of the day is, would you rather live in outer space or underwater, and why? Hi, I'm Caitlin, and today's riddle of the day is, two fathers and two sons went out fishing one day. They were out for the whole day, and they only caught three fish. One father said, all right, we now have enough for all of us to eat one. How is that possible? Hey there, the name of this game is called Paper Airplane Golf. The goal of the game is to throw your paper airplane from the start marker and have it hit the target for each hole. The hole doesn't have to be just a piece of paper on the wall. It could be anything from uh, having the paper airplane land on a couch or have it land in the bathtub. Okay, Get creative with it. This is my partner, Jordan. She's going to tell you a little bit more about paper airplane golf. All right, so each partner is going to take a turn throwing their paper airplane. Then, the paper airplane that landed the furthest away, that partner is going to throw next. Each partner should keep track of how many throws it takes for their paper airplane to hit the target. All right, let's play. You go first. So here's all the supplies that you'll need for the activity. Some sort of paper, so as you can see here we recycled some old newspaper coupons. Tape, we went with painter's tape, but any tape will do. And something to write with like markers or pens. So here's how you make a pretty simple paper airplane. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to fold it in half, hot dog style, right down the middle, make a crease. Then you're going to take that top corner and fold it at about a 45 degree angle, make your crease. You're going to do the same thing on the other side, make it nice and even, crease it, and then take that top triangle, fold that over top, and make your crease, and then you're going to take your top right corner, and you're going to bring that towards the middle. You want it to be about an inch away from the bottom of that tip there. Get that angle there, and make your crease, and then you're going to do the same thing with the other side, try to get that same angle where that new left corner is about an inch away from that tip of that triangle. All right, and then you're going to take that bottom triangle and fold that over top and fold it in half at the midline. You can see it's coming together pretty good. And then you're going to make an imaginary line from the front to the back and fold over that wing and do the same thing on the other side, make it nice and even. All right, and then I like to add a little piece of tape to the front 
Uh, it gives it some weight and it also keeps it together. Hi, camp. Uh, today we're going to play a little game called the green glass door. So if you know the trick, uh, make sure you don't tell anyone. Uh, the secret. Can't tell anyone. That's the rule. Um, so it's called green glass door. There are certain things that you can bring through the door and certain things that you cannot bring through the door. And your goal is to figure out what the rule is that tells you what you can bring, what you can't bring. So I'll give you a few examples. Um, you can bring an apple through the green glass door, but not a banana. Um, a whole lot of different kinds of cheese. Um, cheddar can go through. Mozzarella really can go through. Um, Gouda, absolutely not. Um, American cheese, don't even try it. Um, some of the seasons, um, winter and spring, not going to cut it through the green glass door, but summer and fall, both of them can go. Um, if we're talking beans, you can bring cannellinis, but you can't bring pintos. Um, uh, you can bring puppies and kittens, but you can't bring cats and dogs. Um, so those are a few examples for you. Um, start thinking, um, try it out, see, see what works, see what might not work. If you have any questions or you want to give it a shot, um, let us know if you think you've solved it. But again, don't tell anyone what the rule is. Hey there, Adventure Chris coming from the Adventure Shed here. Our last game of the day is called Stack the Deck. Okay, In order to play, you're going to need to download uh, and print these little challenge cards. Uh, we will also post it. Uh, so if you don't have a printer, you can just write the challenges on little pieces of paper. So you're going to get your group into a circle around the challenges. Each person is going to grab one challenge at a time and read it to themselves. Uh, you're going to then try to complete the challenge. Um, it gets a little chaotic, but it's super fun. Uh, after you complete it, hold on to it and go grab a new card. Um, you don't want to complete the challenge and then just put it back down in the middle because uh, then that's a never-ending game. Uh, so let's say you do grab a card though and you're like, uh, I don't know if I could do that or you don't, just don't feel like doing it. Just put it back down in the middle for somebody else to grab. Um, the goal is to complete all the challenges as a group. Uh, it's not a competition to see who can get the most. Uh, after the game is done, go around and just have each person say maybe one or two things that they really like doing or they thought uh, was really funny. So that's called Stack the Deck. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Listen up and you won't go wrong again. Was along on the first the song and then get to where the two ends meet. Come, 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 come along now. Run away from the humdrum. We'll go to a place that is safe from greed, anger, and boredom. We'll dance and sing till sundown and feast with abandon. We'll sleep when the morning comes and we'll rise by the sound of the bird song.